Hey guys, I want to tell you a story about somebody I know who, because of circumstances, became homeless and then in one year became a millionaire. And this person loved the Lord, tithed every Sunday, and he believed that all this blessing was coming to him because he was finding favor with the Lord. And he didn't see anything wrong with moving ahead and building his dream home, which is gonna cost a lot of money. It was actually going to be a home of over 10,000 square feet and was gonna be probably the most opulent home in the county. And he thought that was okay. And then this person heard their pastor say, whose kingdom are you building? Yours or God's? And it was a dagger to their heart because they knew what they were building was to show off. And they thought it was okay because God was blessing them with all this money. And even though they were tithing, it's okay to spend this money to, to build this big opulent home. Well, that person is actually me and I was building that home. It was going to be actually four stories with a three car garage and an apartment with columns out front, a fountain out front, and you could turn a tractor trailer around in the front of the house. Plus it was gonna have the most amazing view in the county. I really wanted to show off my success and that God was blessing me. But this was all about me and showing off. So I'm gonna read you some verses that really struck home about this. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of sinful man, the lust of the eyes, and the boasting of what he has and does, does not come from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. What I want you to really just ponder and meditate on in your heart is about pride. Pride is poison. When it's all about you and not about the Lord, it's sinful. And that's what I realized. And it radically changed what I was doing. I actually poured the foundation and put the brakes on because I knew what I was doing was sinful and wrong, even though I was tithing, but I just didn't know. I didn't know what the Bible said about that till I read it, until I heard it. I, I needed to hear the message. And then the Holy Spirit worked on me. And I realized I can't follow through with building this place because it's not about the Lord. It was all about me. So in closing, Here's where I wanted to challenge you. If what you do has the motives of glorifying yourself, that's where it needs to change. Because we're created by God for God to honor God. So we give him all the glory. That's what our lives are about. But if we get that wrong, then we become God. That's who we think we are because we care more about ourselves and our agenda than God's agenda. So that's where I want to really challenge you. You know, challenge you with your motives of what you do in life and what you spend your money on. Does it bring glory to God or does it bring glory to you? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this devotional and realize, you know, our pride is a battle each and every day, but we have to continually let the Holy Spirit convict us and to move us to glorify God and not ourselves. Take care and God bless.